Mm-hmm. Tell me about the L.A. trial. Do you think he died? It was a kangaroo it? court. It was a facade. It was a sham. I was railroaded. Railroaded, you're saying. But people are going to hear that. And say, Here's a guy that not only won't fess up, but he continues to feel sorry for himself. Rape, murdered elderly I, I, people in their beds. I, uh... I definitely do not feel sorry for myself. I, I am beyond caring. But when it comes to his own life, Richard Ramirez seems to care very much. So he and his new lawyers will continue their many lengthy appeals, making it more likely that Ramirez will die of old age before he dies in the gas chamber. That's it. I can still remember going to the, the Capri Theater in El Paso. It was in downtown, and I used to go alone. See, some people go to the theaters to get scared, you know, and they leave them there. I took it home. You do love, you know, doing a breakthrough is so much, right? I still dream about this. Do you dream about it now? Yeah, excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, several men will appear on the stage. Each man will be assigned a number and will be referred to only by number. Number two, step to the red square in the center of the line. Number two, in a loud, clear voice, repeat this statement. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Number two, turn to your right and face the door. The guy with the bar was telling his wife to go get a dinner so he could shoot me. I didn't give a fuck at that point because I was so fucking tired. I, I looked down the street and I saw a uh, sheriff's patrol car coming down the street. I was just really pissed off at the way things had turned out, that I was under arrest now. And I turned at all the people that were around me, and I spit at them, I took my tongue out at them. I stuck it in and out, you know, like a serpent. If I would have had a pistol, I would have made them scatter. They wouldn't be as brave as they thought they were. He'll save I won't come back in here again, you understand that? This trial is a joke. The taken vehicle, parasites. Long before, and the fact remains that what is, is. You don't understand me, you are not expected to, you are not capable of it. I am beyond your experience, I am beyond good and evil. Legions of the night, night breed. Repeat not the errors of night father and show no mercy. I will be avenged. Lucifer dwells within us all. For some it is the very act of killing another human being that is sexual, bloodlust, I guess you could say. Serial killers and killers have the advantage in that they use the element of surprise, of darkness, and such things as this. And serial killers and, and most killers in general have a dead conscience. No morals, no scruples. Some of them don't even care whether they live or die themselves. And uh, they are just walking dead. I ran into some uh, situations that were very precarious. If you do so- something so many times, it's bound to happen wrong sometimes. To apprehend the killers, uh, serial killers mainly. It's, they need a mistake by the killer or a stroke of luck by the police. Either that or uh, they need to get inside the mind of a serial killer. Big deal. That's all we're doing with the territory. I'll see you in Disneyland. You know, when I was when I was on the street, I I was a loner. I I stayed to myself. I really had no contact with people. You know, I didn't think about other people's feelings and needs. A serial killer is caught up in a, in a frenzy, and and uh, and uh, by the time it's over and done with, you'll reflect back on it and wish it had lasted longer.